What's going on you guys? It's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So first and foremost, let's just address the fact that I haven't washed my hair in about four to five days and it's definitely time for me to do a very deep cleaning, but I have to film a video and I would much rather sit down and film a video than wash my hair right now. So I mean, just excuse it. Let's go ahead and get past it. Today I have a Sephora haul for you, which is a very big deal for me because you guys know I am an avid Ulta shopper. Like it was so bad that I went into Sephora and I realized that I wasn't even rouge. I was VIB and I had to wait until May 2nd to actually go shopping, which is why this video is going up a little bit later, but I figured better late than never because I have so many products in this small bag right here. I actually have another bag here, a little bag, like it's gonna be a long video, so kick back, relax. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed already. It would mean the absolute world to me. Click that little bell so that way YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, two times a week, every single week. And without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and hop into all of this goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump straight into it. One thing I will say is that I picked up a bunch of new products. I picked up like a couple products that I own that I really, really loved and just wanted to use again, but I really didn't purchase that many like restocks or backups because what happens during these sales is that I get so caught up trying to pick up restocks or backups of products that I really love that I can't try out new products because I've already like maxed out my budget, if you know what I mean. So I did pick up a bunch of new products because summer is quickly approaching and I definitely wanna change up like my foundation routine and I really want to stray away from like full coverage foundations and I want to wear something that's a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more airy, a little bit more natural. So I did pick up some products like that. So let's go ahead and start off with concealer. I picked up this by Becca. This is the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer in the shade Light. Now they didn't have a light tester, so I'm not sure if this shade will even match me or if it will be too light. Um, I'm thinking it should be just fine directly underneath my eyes whenever I'm working with more of like a BB cream. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. Honestly, the applicator on this is very nice, very different than other applicators that I've seen in high-end concealers, and this blends beautifully onto the skin. I think light will look just fine. As you can see, it just blended right into my skin. I plan on wearing this with more natural foundation so I'll let you guys know how I feel about it I'm thinking about doing like a full face using products that I purchased with my own money because I do get a lot of PR sent to me and sometimes I just feel like it's not the same as like picking up makeup yourself if you get me so let's go ahead and keep it moving I picked up a single eyeshadow which is more so like a glitter eyeshadow this one is from hourglass it's called their scattered light glitter eyeshadow it is the eyeshadow that I have on my eye right now and let me just say I'm so obsessed with it I kind I don't want to go on the Sephora website and pick up another one like is that bad? Should I not? I probably should just stop. This one right here is in the shade Aura, and it is such a beautiful rosy pink shade. As you guys can see, it looks stunning. When I swatched this in store, I noticed that they didn't have any in stock, so I had to go to a couple of Sephora's to see if they had it, but that is pretty much what it looks like swatched on my hand, and it is such a beautiful foiled a glittery eyeshadow without looking too chunky. When I put it on my eyes, one thing that I was concerned about was that the glitter was just going to kind of fall onto my eyelashes and that definitely isn't the case it definitely is more of like a wet very creamy eyeshadow that just stays put on the lid and that's something I really really like about this cream eyeshadow so I'm going to continue to use this and let you guys know how I feel about it so far so good let's go ahead and talk about the drunk elephant lippy balms I don't know what it is there's just something so satisfying about applying a lip balm in the form of a chapstick as opposed to a lip balm in a squeeze out tube that you have to kind of and like a lather all over your lips. I did pick up two, not because I'm excessive. I picked up one for me and one for Bebido. We have one, and I say we have one. Technically, I have one, but he really, really loves it. He always uses it. He actually stole it from me, and he just claimed it as his own. So I was like, you know what? We're going to put an end to this. I'm going to pick up one for me, and I'm going to pick up one for you. So he currently has his out there, but I definitely wanted to show you guys these because they are extremely hydrating on the lips. The formula is extremely creamy and buttery, and I'm just high-key obsessed with it. I can't get enough 
enough of it. It's also a multi-use product, so you can put it underneath your eyes and use it as an eye balm right before you go to sleep. But I essentially just love to use this all over my lips all throughout the day because it keeps my lips extremely hydrated. I don't like crusty lips, dry lips, brittle lips. No, give me all the hydration. Since we're already on the topic of lip products, let's go ahead and get the next lip product out of the way. I picked up the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in vanilla. I picked up vanilla because I feel like everybody was raving about the berry one and I just want it to be a little bit different. I've already started using this. I used it on me and Bobito before we went to sleep the other night and this is amazing. This makes your lips feel amazing. Like when you wake up, your lips will feel like pillows. They will be soft. They will be extremely hydrated and moisturized. Like this is the perfect lip mask for the nighttime. So check it out. Vanilla smells really, really good. It's not too strong or anything like that. It also comes with a little mini like super that you can kind of scoop the lip product out with which i thought was a nice added touch because i was thinking to myself like how am i going to get my whole finger in the jar like this is a very big jar you get 0.7 ounces 20 grams of product which is a lot for a lip sleeping mask i did pick up a new brow product well it's not like a new brow product it is a new shade in the benefit precisely my brow i did pick up shade number six which is more of a cool tone black i really wanted to do something a little bit different with my brows Normally I'm accustomed to doing a very warm medium brown or a neutral brown and I wanted something that was a little bit cooler, something that was going to be relatively lighter than my natural hair color and this was the perfect color that I found in store. I use it today so let me know what you guys feel about it. I definitely am trying to gravitate more towards a very natural, very PC brow look. I definitely have to play around with it a little bit more but I did use it today so I definitely want to know how you guys feel about this brow color. Like are you guys vibing with it? Is it too light? Is it too cool let me know your thoughts down below but i love the formula of benefit precisely my brow it definitely is one of my favorite brow pencil formulas hands down. So sticking with the natural theme, I definitely wanted to pick up products that were a little bit more natural and skin-like because I have so many foundations that are like full-on coverage that I really wanted to just experiment more with products that would give me more of a fresh, very luminous, natural looking effect, if you get me. So I picked this up by YSL. This is the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow. It says fresh, dewy makeup, natural, medium coverage, long-lasting hydration, and it's oil-free. I picked this one up. In the shade B40 Sand, which I think is going to be a pretty decent match for me. I definitely have to play around with it a little bit more to see, but this is what the packaging looks like. Pretty, pretty decent. Nothing too crazy. Now, this is the very first product I personally own from YSL, so I'm excited to see what it's all about and see if I really like it, see if I'm really interested in it. So I will play around with it a little bit more. I put it on once, but I can't even really say how I feel about it. Let's just hope I don't love it because then I'm going to be screwed. It's YSL it's pretty pricey. I also picked up the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This was a product I seen on a lot of people's Sephora wish list. I wanted to try and test it out and since it is such a beautiful kind of like liquid dewy highlighter magic in a bottle I was like why not I did pick this up in the shade four and I am blown away by the product it is so incredibly beautiful when you blend it into the skin it just provides the nicest sheen like do you guys see that right there that is gorgeous it's not shimmery it's not glittery it just adds a nice sheen to the skin so you can put this underneath your foundation on the highest points of your cheekbones or you can put it over top of the foundation I definitely Definitely had to play around with it a little bit but all in all I think Charlotte Tilbury is an amazing luxury brand that I'm rarely ever disappointed in so I will keep you guys updated on this I also picked up the Ula Henriksen I could be butchering that and if I am butchering it I do apologize this is the banana bright face primer this is a fairly new product and I did receive a sample of this that I haven't used yet and when I saw it I was like you know what I think I want to try this because it says it instantly illuminates, hydrates, and improves foundation wear all day with vitamin C. Now, I don't know about you guys, but since I'm personally working on my skin, I really want to gravitate more towards primers that have really awesome skincare benefits. And if you guys didn't know, vitamin C is amazing for your skin. So I definitely wanted 
to pick this up and try it out. I love the one that I currently have from Tatcha, but I wanted to try something new. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on how I feel about this. Actually follow me over on Instagram because oftentimes whenever I try out a new product and I absolutely love it, I will go to Instagram stories first and let everybody know about it before it actually appears here on my YouTube channel. So check that out. Give me a follow. Come on. Show me some love. From Fenty Beauty, I did pick up one of the matchsticks. Now, let me just say, when these originally came out, I wasn't really intrigued. I wasn't really drawn to these products. I was just like, eh, not really into cream contour, so it's not really for me. But I now want to dive deeper into the cream contouring world, if you will. So I picked up this one in the shade Mocha. My girl Janiners, who works in Sephora, recommended this shade to me, which is more so a neutral mocha shade. And I'm so glad that she recommended this one to me because it is so beautiful. Do you guys see that? And these matchsticks, they blend beautifully into the skin. They definitely give the skin a really nice color to it while still looking very skin-like and natural. So I will definitely play around with this on my natural skin days. For foundation, I only picked up one foundation during the sale and they didn't have my shade in stock in store so I had to order it online. But my girl did hook me up with some samples and I picked up the Dior Backstage Foundation in the shade too neutral again it hasn't gotten here yet i ordered it online so i'm still waiting for it but all in all i did hear that this is the perfect kind of summer foundation it is very beautiful on the skin and i did hear that it was transfer proof so i will definitely test that out and let you guys know how i feel about it i never thought i would be that girl to purchase a natasha denona palette but it happened and i'm kind of disappointed in myself actually i'm not because i did pick up the little mini nude palette just the mini one because I'm really interested in testing out the formula of these eyeshadows I can't believe that some people spend $129 on an eyeshadow palette like for me that's a little excessive like $129 that's a lot it, it is and even this $25 that's a little excessive but I felt like this was so stinking cute especially for those days where I'm traveling and I want something super sleek and small to toss into my travel makeup bag or something like that now I'm going to actually swatch some of these because I'm very interested in just seeing what they're all about okay that copper hmm that's something special okay this matte brown okay all right, so I will say that they are very pigmented when I swatch them. As you can see, those are some of the shades I have on my hand. Um, and I do love the color range of the nude palette. I really wish I could pick up the full size version, but unfortunately, like I can't get down with spending $129. If you guys have these little mini palettes and you also have the full size palettes, how do you like it? How do you guys like the full size palettes? Do I need them? Like, do I need to spend some coin? Like, I, I need to know. I really do. Let's go ahead and talk about lashes. I only picked up one pair of lashes. Now, within Sephora, they did have the Lily Lashes by Sephora collection, but those retail for about 30 bucks, and honestly, I just can't get down with spending that much on lashes anymore. Like, that's just so excessive, and I really wanted to pick up a lash that was going to be easily accessible to the average consumer because at the end of the day, I still go into these stores and I buy these lashes time and time again, and I didn't want to burn holes in my pocket just purchasing eyelashes so I did pick this up this is by Sephora collection but it only retails for eight bucks so when I saw a price I was like okay like these are super pretty this lash is right up my alley this is a lash style that I absolutely love and I wear time and time again on my channel so I wanted to check it out and see what it was all about now it says hashtag lash stories I'm not entirely sure if that's the name of the lash or if the name of the lash is jet setter I will have it listed down below in case you guys are interested in checking out this lash but the packaging is super cute it retails for eight dollars fairly fairly affordable so I was like why not now whenever the sale rolls around I always make a point to pick up at least one Sephora collection brush just because I personally believe that they are such good quality but they're a little bit pricey so I always make sure to get them on a sale so I picked up two brushes this time around I picked up the pro foundation number 47 brush now this is what the brush looks like what I plan on using this for is with my cream contour Fenty matchstick as you can see it comes to a little bit of a slant and I plan on really just fitting it right here into the hollows of my cheeks to really buff and blend out that contour I'm gonna take the contour stick and really just paint it onto the brush kind of wipe a little bit of it off 
on the back of my hand and really just push it into the skin. I really love the shape of this brush and I've been eyeing it for a while. So again, this is the number 47 Pro Sephora Collection brush. The other brush I picked up is the Flawless Airbrush number 56 brush. Now this brush right here is a brush that I've had on my radar for a while now. As you can see, the bristles look so incredibly long and soft. I do intend on using this with the YSL Touche Claw All-in-One Glow Skin Tint for more of a flawless kind of like airbrush finish. I've been really just wanting a brush like this to apply very lightweight foundation. So I will definitely try it out and let you guys know how I feel about it. It has been on my radar for a while. So I'm really glad I finally picked it up during the sale. Speaking of brushes, I also picked up the Sephora Daily Brush Cleaner. It says the cleanse. Now what really sold me on this product was the new quick drying formula. I don't have time to sit and wait for my brushes to be completely dry. Like I don't want to use a brush cleaner formula that's going to make my brushes sopping wet. So I really wanted something that was going to dry my brushes very, very quickly. I do currently use this one by It Cosmetics and I will say it's okay. It's not the greatest. It's not the best. I personally feel like it's a little bit oily and this dries my hands out like crazy. This one says it is alcohol free and I figured since it's a sale, I might as well just pick it up and try it out. If you guys have this at home, definitely let me know how you guys feel about it. I would love to know your thoughts. So let's move on to this next product. One thing I really wanted was like a body oil of some sort, something that I could lather all over my body during the spring and summer. And the first product I really wanted was by Fenty. I want to say it was a body lava in the shade Who Needs Clothes. But when I went into the store and I swatched it on my hand. I'm like, what the what? Yeah, right, 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 yeah. I don't really want this. It was really oily, it was sticky, and it was extremely glittery, and that's just not something I want on my body. So I went around the store and I came across this brand. This is the same brand that makes the Bum Bum Cream. This is called the Glow Motions Rio Sunset Glow Oil. You guys, this is insanely beautiful on the skin. It's almost unreal. It comes off more like a sheen than anything. It's not chunky glitter, it's not sticky, and it dries down so beautifully. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, super cute and very, very pretty. I can't wait to play around with this. I'm actually going to put some on my hand because I'm very, very excited to show you guys just what I'm talking about. But this is what it looks like. Swatch. Very, very foiled. If it reminds me of anything, it definitely reminds me of like the iconic London highlighter drops at first. Also, did I mention this smells amazing? Like it smells so so good. It smells like a tropical vacation. I'm not even kidding, but this is what it looks like on the hand. As you can see, it looks very hydrated. It looks like a sheen. It's not chunky glitter or anything like that. Oh, I'm like here for it. I can't wait to lather this all over my body. Like it is so pretty. Oh, do you guys see that? Like, hello hydration. We see you. Now, one thing I always make sure to do whenever I shop the Sephora sale is to pick up a fragrance or two. I did pick up a cologne for Bobito by Jo Malone. I'll put it up on the screen in case any of you guys have, you know, bays, hubbies, fiancés you want to shop for. I did end up picking this one up. I also picked up another fragrance that is more unisex that we both could wear. It is a perfume, but it does have more of a musky scent to it, which is something I really like. It's something he really likes. It definitely has like that cedarwood, very black pepper amber musk to it and it is this one right here by mason louis marie i love the box it comes in it is 1.7 fluid ounces and it is just a clean glass bottle now this fragrance it is clean it's made with all clean ingredients it is in their clean section which is one of the main reasons i really really wanted it because i am trying to gravitate more towards like cleaner products and i'm just trying to be more cautious of the fragrances that i put on my body so I'm really glad I picked this up. Definitely go into Sephora, smell it, and let me know what you guys think of it. By the way, this is the actual name of the fragrance right here, Vale de Farni. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that, but if you guys go into Sephora and smell it, let me know how you guys feel about it. Last but not least, I picked up two hair care products. Now, I'm almost out of my shampoo, so I walked over to the shampoo area, and I was like, let's try something new. Now, since I'm obsessed with this line right here in the leave-in treatment, I really wanted to try out the shampoo. This is the Don't Despair 
Repair Super Moisture Shampoo. Now, what I love about this line is that it has no sulfate, silicones, or parabens, so it's extremely amazing for your hair. And since I love the leave-in treatment so much, I wanted to try out the shampoo. The shampoo, you get 16 ounces. It is a pretty decent bottle. And since I don't shampoo my hair every single day, I feel like this is gonna last me a little minute. I also picked up the Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. And what I found to be really cool about this product is that it is in a spray kind of like aerosol cans. I was like, what? Like when I sprayed it in store, I've never seen anything like it. As you can see, you just pop it open and then you give it a shake and you just kind of like spray it. And I was just like amazed in the store because the other one I have looks nothing like this. Like the packaging is completely different and I'm all about this. I love how chic and sleek it is. And I already know I love the product. So I'm so glad I picked up a backup. And there it goes on the floor. But it's okay because this pretty much wraps up today's haul. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Did you guys pick up any of these products? Did you splurge during the Sephora sale? Be honest. I know I'm not the only one with a problem. I know some of you guys have shopping problems as well. And it's okay. We're here for each other. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so that way you can be part of the Noto fam. In fact, if you guys want to be my post notification shout out of the week, all you have to do is click that bell and leave me a comment down below with the hashtag SlayBase. And while you're at it, give the video a big ol' like to be entered to win a mystery makeup box from me. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.